Hi everyone and welcome to another segment of AstrologyAnswers.com's weekly horoscope. My name is Terence Scardino. The week begins on Monday, March the 11th, and this is going to be a very active week um, planetary-wise. A lot is going on. Most of it is positive, but we have to keep in mind the bigger picture. Mercury is retrograde, so we'll be readjusting our plans, um, maybe um, missing appointments and forgetting things. Not a good period to be making commitments or promises or especially signing contracts because you don't have all the information or you may be changing your mind. So you've heard this mantra, Mercury is retrograde from March the 5th to March the 28th. And now we have um, liberating revolutionary Uranus now in Taurus um, for, uh, and it's going to be there for the next seven years. So this is bringing a lot of, of uh, upsetting to breakthrough liberating energy and a lot of this is being quite stimulated because even though it could take a number of years for most of us to really see the impact, you're getting a lot of clues this month because um, impatient, assertive Mars is in Taurus uh, once every two years, joining a rebellious, liberating Uranus in Taurus. So wherever Taurus is in your chart, there's a lot of shaking up, but you might be feeling more courageous, uh, courageous um, taking risks, being bold, and going for it. But keep in mind, Mercury is retrograde, so you need to really um, think about what you're doing and taking your time and doing your due diligence. Now, on um, this week, well, it begins on Monday. The moon is, uh, there's no major planetary events on Monday, but the moon, which sets the emotional tone, is in more stabilizing uh, routine-oriented Taurus. So the week is starting to um, is going to begin with, okay, let's get into our rhythm, what are our plans? By Tuesday, now the moon has already shifted into Gemini, and we haven't hit yet the planetary uh, 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 transits yet, um, but the Gemini, now we're thinking, now our mind is spinning, but Mercury is in retrograde, and Mercury is the ruling planet of the Gemini. So we might be uh, second guessing ourselves or coming up with other ideas and why didn't I think of that before? So you just gotta like settle down and then we go from Wednesday to Sunday, one big impact after another. But most of it is good. Um, so for the most part, this could be the week to make some major alterations, big adjustments, on um, previous plans and expectations to get, really get your uh, ducks in a row. So when Mercury goes direct um, after the 28th, you are, um, your plans are going to be more in alignment to bring you the success you're looking for. Now, on Wednesday, the sun is going to be favorable to Pluto, a hard angle to expansive Jupiter. Pluto is about uh, transformation. So it's a good day whether you are um, um, uh, doing um, construction on your home and home repairs, making changes that way, or internal changes. Um, but with the Jupiter, you're feeling really optimistic. I could go, like, these changes could take me here and take me there. Um, as the Mercury in retrograde, your mind's just spinning with all these possibilities. By Thursday, we get a lot more focused with ambitious Mars is in going to be very favorable with focus stabilizing Saturn. So we can start really accomplishing a lot, not take on anything new, but um, because of the Mercury in retrograde, but what has already been, um, we've already, projects that we've already been working on. Um, 
this is a good couple of days actually this Thursday into Friday with the Mars to the Saturn to uh, to be to really channel all your energy to accomplish a great deal like I said for the most part cleaning up old business continuing old business don't start new business by Friday as that Mars Saturn is still supporting you now discerning communication Mercury is at a hard angle to Jupiter so and the Mercury's retrograde so you got to, this is the only troublesome day really um, because you're seeing all these positive possibilities that's to Jupiter but you can't focus and maybe you're just you're you're getting too much input so it's not a good day for meetings, you know, business meetings, for interviews, um, or even trying to study because your mind is spinning so much. So it would be a good day for meditation, for taking a long walk in nature, for exercising, calm that mind down. Um, Saturday, now the Mercury is going to be favorable with Pluto, but it's retrograde, so you could be rethinking um, with the Pluto what you might have been studying and researching or making changes to plans uh, to do uh, some repairs, some uh, construction, some change in that kind of direction on Sunday now the Mercury because we have all these Friday Saturday Sunday Mercury is triggering all these other planets by so there's a lot of thinking decisions communications even Saturday with Mercury to Pluto you could uh, uh, there could be an old subject with a friend with a, a loved one family member um, that is some kind of deep profound conversation that you're revisiting but you're trying to get more clarity and for the most part finding some resolution so that on Sunday now the retrograde Mercury is favorable with assertive Mars now this is also where um, your mind is really racing but you're staying but it's more positive energy here to really t uh, to be making plans be taking action and again Mars is this planet of high energy and uh, and so with all this uh, with Mars and Uranus together in Taurus um, and the Mercury in retrograde you need to calm down but there's a lot of positive energy so I think this is uh, this is good for really brainstorming with others um, to revise and get dot back on track get on a better plan and Mars the athlete again this is really favorable for exercising to calm uh, de-stress and focus the mind I want uh, so incredible week of activity a lot of cleaning up and progress could be made from previous commitments now before I sign off I want to remind you I'm available for the one question offer for a nominal fee and you can find it a direct link in the description box If you go to the description box and you don't see it you'll see the, the word more just click on more and more will open up and then you'll find the link and if you could put your time of birth and your birth information and spell out the month that you were born and put it in with your question to me it'll just make sure I have all the correct information so I want to thank you for tuning in and I hope to see you next week with my next segment until then have a great week